Okay, so I have my Toro time cutter with my ride suspension system technology. And uh, I've got an awning, a canopy for it. And I was just going to throw it on yesterday. I thought it was going to be easy peasy, but it's not as easy peasy as I thought it was going to be. And so I went to go look at a video real quick to see how to do it. Couldn't find one, so I figured I'd make one. So here we go. So yeah, this is the uh, Toro Sunshade kit for time cutter riding mowers. And uh, it does not have great directions or great pictures. So. Unimpressed with that. And this is what we're working with, minus the canopy. And uh, yeah, nothing's labeled. Just, I guess I'll wing it, figure it out. And the lighting is obviously going to be terrible because I don't have a workshop and uh, I'm in the shade. And yeah, I don't know what to tell you. All right, I might be figuring it out. So the first thing I want you to do is take off the wheels. <laughs> I mean, well, I want you to park it on a level surface and get it all right. And then jack up a lawnmower and lift up the wheels. It doesn't bother where I tell you to jack it up at, of course. So you just got to pick a spot. And then it's like, put it on jack stands. It's like, well, I don't have a jack stand. So, and also you don't say the spots where that's supposed to go. So I don't know. Might be a 21. Doesn't say that either, but it seems to fit. I don't have any Imperial uh, sockets this big. So I'm going to guess it's a metric. Good. Excellent. Uh, gotta get a better socket. I'm gonna get a better ratchet. Okay, socket semi loosened. I don't know about a jack stand. I'm just gonna use my floor jack and I think I'm just gonna leave it suspended. Four bolts. Tire off. Looks like she got some magnets for all these. Giant ones, I assume. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Okay, bolts through the back. Two, looks like a lock washer. Three. I think three must be the piece. Oh, here we go, frame. I didn't realize it showed shows the numbers for the first stuff on the front page and the numbers for the second stuff on the second page. I didn't realize that. Okay, so yeah, three is the frame. So bolts, lock washer, frame, this metal square piece, and then this angle iron piece. Not exactly going to be a great angle, but not much I can do about that. So just bolt and lock washer and these top holes back here. Then your plate. Oh, I was like, there's no nuts, but the nuts are on the angle iron piece. All right, should go on like this, I think. Okay, I'm still hella confused as to which direction. Let's see, it looks like, okay, I think I'm doing it wrong. I think it's supposed to be from the outside in, from best I can gather. If not, I guess I'll be taking it all apart when I'm done. So that. Then the plate, I don't know what I did with that. Okay, that's the picture. And I think that's what I'm supposed to do with it. I think I thread it from the outside like that with the lock nuts or the lock washers and the bolts. And then the plate is in between here and the, the nuts are inside the, the angle iron. It doesn't look like it's gonna clear it look like you're going to take the oil out when it's there, so I'm totally not sure. $300 can't put a better instructions, Toro. I think I know why there's no videos on it. <laughs> because I don't think anybody's done it, because I don't think it actually fits. Like, 
I'm positive that once I get this on, I'm not going to be able to remove the fuel filter. I mean, the fuel uh, stick, the oil stick. God damn it. The dipstick. And check the oil. And, uh, like, the freaking fuel filter over here is in the way. And there's no way to get the freaking piece in. Now you get the piece in, you're all up against the... And you just press it into the full... I don't fucking know. And I don't think that's wide enough anyway. I don't think this is right. All right, well, I had all these pieces put together and it still didn't look right. There's way more holes than need to be here. So I guess it's for a different setup too, for different pieces. But Jesus Christ, what is so goddamn hard about writing directions. Okay, we're going to try one more time. Clear off my workbench so I actually have some room to work. So I'm not trying to freaking put it together in the air. <laughs> but I'm just going to, there's literally no videos. I looked online again. There's not a freaking video to be sent. I stick it in the things. I guess I need to tighten up the things first. Or maybe I need to stick it in first. I don't think I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use some grease. I mean, I actually do have wax. I think grease would be better. He's got an extra hole at the bottom, but there's nowhere to, there's nothing for it. He's got some extra holes in the top. There's nothing for those. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it's supposed to work. Hmm. All right. Okay, I think it's on there. Doesn't have any torque specs, so it does have torque specs on the uh, on the wheels. I'm gonna put those back on. Probably will not pay attention to that. All right, tighten all these extra nuggets up here. Tighten all these nuggets up. Put the wheels back on. I guess. They definitely ah. They definitely did not provide enough washers. I added washers to almost everything. that part put the wheels back on oh of course I put that tire on upside down gee or backwards Jesus Christ valve stem on the inside let me redo that tires are on I guess the lawnmower's uneven. You know, it didn't occur to me how short this is going to be. But I guess that's right. Gotta suck getting off and on. Let's check this dipstick. You can get the dipstick out, but it's, a, it's annoying. And it puts a little bit of pressure. But you know, presumably, you should just be able to take it out and, and in pretty easily with this grease. All right, let's look at these uh, awnings. See if we can figure out how to put those on. Secure the rear screen, rear screen to the rear bow and posts. I'm say how to do that. I'm guessing it's Velcro. Yes. ECTs. I 
guess that's right. This one looks like it just slips over the front. Yep, perfect. That worked perfectly. You know, I hate to say it, but I really should have spent 50 bucks on a nice umbrella and uh, a couple of mounts like I had the GoPro mounted with y'all right now. <laughs> I probably could have jerry rigged my own and saved myself 200 bucks. And plus, like there's no way that this is not just going to be a tarp in like a season or two because Dude, these seams, I'll show you. It's just, it's just counting on compression. It's just counting on compression to hold it. It's just a pullover. And look at these seams. How long do you think those are gonna last? She's cute. And it would be nice not to have to wear a hat over my freaking headphones. But uh, let's try her out, I guess. Y'all are gonna move because you're on my right suspension, so I can't do anything about that. around pretty good and she still stands. Uh, it's mainly gonna be the getting off and the getting on that's annoying. But uh and I gotta make sure I watch out for trees. I can't be getting near trees. Um other than that pretty good and uh, aside from the sh crappy directions and the fact that I had to <laughs> reconfiscate my, my work surface other than that it went pretty smoothly and uh, I'm happy to have it on there. And I'm happy that it's an easy takeoff if I need to. So technically I need to check the oil and stuff. I can just pop it out of there, set it somewhere. And uh, yeah, but so that's the video. And uh, hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully you saw it at all. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.